Welcome back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be reacting to episode 12 of Free Rin. And the last episode was a really, really nice one, actually. We saw the trio venture into the Northern Lands, which was just overtaken by this really awful winter weather. So they did manage to find some shelter where they met another elf called Kraft and he was such a nice character for us to see. I explained at the end of the last reaction, I really enjoyed his kind of impact on Freyrin in that episode because it I think would have made her think about a lot of things to do with her past and to do with her friends and reminding her to cherish her loved ones and all of that and one of the comments on my last video actually someone pointed out that it was kind of like Kraft was saying to Freyrin you're going through your edgy teenage phase I've been there and I kind of see that I think that's so funny like like such a funny comparison because it seems like he was older than her and he has a little bit more life experience, a little bit more perspective, which is crazy to think considering how old she is. But yeah, it's there's I still feel like there's so much that Free Rin has to learn and like grasp. And it does kind of feel like she is going through a little bit of a teenage, like edgy phase in the things that she says and the way she reacts to things sometimes. So that comment like cracked me up. It was like, oh my God, that's so true. But yeah, it was a really nice episode. And like I said, at the end of the last reaction, it felt like he kind of came in for a reason, you know, just to make her think and appreciate and maybe remind her why she's even on this journey in the first place, which is to cherish the people that she didn't really 100% cherish before and yeah I as much as I think he only came in for that reason it would be cool to see him again because I did really like him and I do like the idea that she was able to you know talk with someone who's also an elf because that's pretty rare for them I don't know if we'll see him again it would be really cool if we did but I have a feeling that maybe he came in just for that like fleeting reason which is also really nice in and of itself anyways before we get into episode 12 if you want to see more content from me don't forget to subscribe you can join my patreon if you want to see my uncut reactions to free rin and all of the other animes that i react to as well it's three dollars a month and i really appreciate the support but yeah without further ado let's just get into episode 12 of free rin oh she's so sleepy that is such a mood <laughs> oh oh my god that is me for real though. I could fall asleep anywhere. I feel that very, very deeply in the core of my soul. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Does she not trust him? Oh. Oh, she's like curling up to her. That's so cute. <gasps> it's a flashback to Himmel. <laughs> ah, I love this. Oh my God, he's so cute. I love him. He is so beautiful. Oh. Oh. Did he want to prove him wrong? Oh my god, that's so funny. The passage of time is fucking cruel. That is like literally the whole message of this show sometimes that the passage of time is cruel. <laughs> I love their their banter. That's so good. Aww. <laughs> What 
was that moment of like a little bit of like falling in love, seeing someone in like a really beautiful light? I'm sorry. What was that? I'm going to cry. Whoa, she was dreaming about it. That was so cute. Oh, she's so cute. He wants to help so bad. What? Does she just not trust him or is there like... Okay, maybe that was her reasoning. <gasps> oh my god, who is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> is she standing on her tiptoes? Is this where the hero's sword is from? I'm so smart. So I wonder if Himmel did actually get it, or is it still there? Because I don't remember them saying specifically that he did. So did he do that? Oh, he did! Wow. Hyder never mentioned it to her. Why? Like, I know they have banter, but like, why didn't he mention it? That seems a bit shady, Hyder. <laughs> How old is she? Oh, she has a Judy here? Lord of the Mountain. So she had a Judy to this place and didn't return for 80 years. Girl, that is some next level procrastination. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow, look at them go. Oh, she's so cool. Exactly. Is that where the sword was? <gasps> oh my god, is that the Lord of the Mountain? Yup, yup. He looks like that one Digimon. You know the one. You know the one that I'm talking about. She is so badass. Oh! Oh! Did he do that? Let's go! Oh my god, them all working as a trio in a fight is so cool. That is so cool. Easy peasy, I guess. Hmm? So it was returned? What? He didn't? Oh. Oh, I thought that Heitzer didn't tell Fern because he was like being prideful, not because Himmel didn't do it. Oh, he still went on to do his thing. Oh, you're not fake. Mm. 
Oh, people just made a story? It's almost like people made this like idealized version of Himmel because that's what fit the narrative for what a hero is. Whereas Freerun actually knew him for the person that he was and not like the idealized version of a hero, which is so applicable to real life in a lot of situations. What was that? <笑><笑>ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ。ハロ
He's never received a birthday present? Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Didn't care. Oh, this was the guy that was in a little flashback thing. Who is he? Is this his brother? Oh my god, nah. Is this his dad and his brother? And he has been living, or he had been living in his brother's shadow. I will cry. Yeah. Yeah, that's his family. Poor Stark. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, is his brother nice to him? Oh, that's cute. His brother's actually nice to him. I was scared that he was going to be mean, but. Oh. Oh my god, he lost them all. Oh, it was demons. Stark. Can't compare yourself, though. No wonder he's so hard on himself. And he was just a child. That makes me so sad. Oh, she's so supportive to him. Without, like, explicitly saying it, she's supporting him in a really nice way. <laughs> oh my god, they're so funny. <gasps> Oh, oh, it was showing the bracelet. I thought they were going to hold hands. I was going to scream. Oh my god. They're steaks? Ooh. True. True. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh. Oh, his brother made them for him. And he couldn't even tell the rest of his family because of what they would have been like rude about it and said that he didn't deserve it. Oh my God, his brother was so sweet to him. <gasps> oh. His brother told him to run. Oh my God. He's not a failure. She knew. <laughs> I think one of the biggest takeaways from that episode was Freerin saying people don't know how you feel unless you tell them. And as sweet as Stark's brother was to him in comparison to the rest of his family, I feel like that end sequence kind of showed that 
Stark was never actually told how people feel about him. He kind of figured that his whole family didn't like him. He said, maybe my brother, you know, would have cared, whatever. The getting the stake and realizing that that was his brother's way of saying that he was working hard and doing a good job. It was like all those years later, it was some kind of validation for him. Hopefully, in a sense, makes him feel like less of a failure because his brother was trying to tell him that he needs to live and that he is working hard. It just seems like their family situation was awful. It just seems like their parents were awful. The dad just seemed like not a nice person. And yeah, that is so... The things that... Like, Freerun comes across as such a little shit sometimes, but that was just such a thought out, meaningful thing for her to do. And I don't know if she even, maybe she doesn't know the full picture of, you know, Sark's family life and his his brother and everything. But the fact that she found that recipe from Eisen and did that for his birthday is so sweet. And to learn about Himmel and the fact that he wasn't able to do this thing that would have made him a real hero, but he went on to save the world anyway it's like these idealized things that people make of other people it doesn't always bear true that that is what makes someone what they are if that makes any sense like him taking that sword from the stone would have been like they would have told all these grand tales of how he took the sword from the stone but like his actions of actually you know going forward and still saving the world is what made him a hero and that's the side that free Rin knew versus this idealized side and like i already said that's so applicable to real life because you can have these arbitrary titles ideas things labels etc and it's what you actually do with what you have that makes you the thing that you want to be or the thing that you are. I hope that makes sense because I'm trying to like compare it to real life and not like fantasy and being a hero. But yeah, I thought that's a really important message. And the messages that you can take from this show are just so so good it's amazing writing anyways i hope you enjoyed this reaction and don't forget to leave a comment if you'd like to and give this video a like it really helps me out and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me or join my patreon if you want to see early access content but yeah in the meantime take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next one okay bye